Hello and welcome. This lesson is part 2 of the two part series on performing shear topology in the ANSYS fluent meshing watertight geometry workflow and will focus on the interface connect method. We will dig into the finer details of this method and understand how and when to use it. Let's get started. The alternative to the joint intersect shear topology method discussed in part 1 of this lesson is the interface connect method. This method can be used to achieve increased robustness and speed of the shear topology operation when there are matching overlapped surfaces between bodies. Matching here refers to the overlapping surfaces having similar shape and dimensions. The reason for this is that the method is based on first stitching the edges of the surfaces that overlap with each other and then removing one of the overlapping surfaces. Note that the method can also be used for fixing non-matching overlapped surfaces. In order to use this method efficiently, it is recommended to create labels or named selections for the overlapping surfaces at the calculation level though the method also works when no labels are defined. When using ANSYS discovery to prepare the CAD, labels can be defined on the different surfaces. Let's quickly look at how this can be done. We will be using the geometry shown here for our demo. The way we create labels in ANSYS discovery is by clicking on the name selection tool in the status bar. It will open the name selection panel. We can then select the appropriate geometrical feature and click on this icon to create the name selection. The new name selection can be seen in the panel after creating the default name. Right click on the default name to rename. Notice that the two cylinders are connected to two rectangular surfaces on both sides. As discussed earlier, the interface connect method works best when the overlapping surfaces are of similar shape and dimension. Here, we need to split the rectangular surface to create two circular regions where the cylinders are connected. For this, we can use the imprint feature from the prepare tab. When this option is selected, ANSYS discovery automatically detects coincident faces, edges or vertices between bodies and imprints them onto the coincident faces. Under input, Specify the tolerance of 0.01 .01 between objects. Here, we see that the four circular edges of the cylinders are highlighted when imprint option is selected. Click on the green arrow to implement the imprint operation. Enter escape to go out of the imprint operation. We can now see that rectangular surfaces have been split into circular surfaces where the cylinders are connected to it. Now, Create the named selections for the overlapping faces. Once these are created, let us now load this model into ANSYS Fluent in meshing mode. Here is ANSYS Fluent in meshing mode with watertight geometry workflow selected. In the import geometry task, leave all other options to default and read the geometry file. We will not be adding any local sizing and will create the surface mesh with the default settings for this demo. If we now look at one of the overlapping pairs, we can clearly see the overlapping mesh which needs to be fixed. ANSYS Fluent automatically adds the apply shear topology task to the workflow after the surface mesh is created if it detects that a multi-body part has been imported without any shear topology. Before moving to the apply shear topology task, the describe geometry task needs to be executed. Here, since we have only the solid regions, we will select the first option for the geometry type. We will leave all the other options to default and click Describe Geometry. 
In the apply shared topology task, let us now select the interface connect for the shared topology method. There are three ways to select the surfaces to implement this shared topology method which can be chosen from the interface labels selection method setting under advanced options. When named selections have been defined for the overlapping surfaces at the CAD level, the default label selection method is the manual method. Here, simply select all the surfaces, in this case 8 surfaces that overlap with each other and hit apply share topology. The machine algorithm will first stitch the overlapping surfaces and then remove one of the surfaces and remesh locally to create a conformal mesh at the interface as we can see here. If the labels need to be maintained for boundary condition specification or post-processing purposes, it is recommended to set the rename internals based on body names setting to no. For details on other advanced options, please refer to the user guide. For most cases, the default values for these settings are sufficient. The other method that can be used to select the overlapping surfaces is the automatic method. As the name suggests, the overlapping surfaces are automatically identified by the meshing algorithm and hence no manual user selection is required. This is especially helpful when no labels are defined. However, because the algorithm has to brute force identify the overlapping surfaces, there is virtually no speed up that is attained when using this method when compared to the default joint intersect shared topology method. Let's now go back to ANSYS discovery to discuss another method of creating named selections. Here we have the same model as before with the imprint operation already performed but with no named selections defined. Once the model is loaded, click on the prepare tab under which we have a dedicated section for shared topology. The pre-check option here helps us in identifying any potential issues with the topology before sharing among the bodies in a model. After checking the topology and fixing any problematic geometry, we can use the share tool to share the coincident topology. The unshare option will get activated after we share the geometry. You can select the shared entities in the graphics area to perform the unshare operation. The review option here can be used to select, filter and review shared topology results. We can use the select bodies to select bodies for review. Selecting an area outside of the model will deselect all the selected bodies. The other way of creating named selections in ANSYS Discovery is to use the Create Name Selection for Face Pairs tool. When we use this tool under Options, it automatically creates one or more named selection per pair of non-shared faces. It is important to note that when this option is used, ANSYS Discovery only creates named selections for overlapping surfaces but does not perform shared topology. The name selections will have a naming convention that starts with connect topology followed by a number. The number of named selections created depends on the number of contacts in the model. In our case, we have 4 contacts and hence 4 named selections. Note that each named selection contains both the overlapping surfaces. Let's now import this geometry into watertight workflow and perform the same steps as earlier till the describe geometry task. In the apply shared topology task, the default shared topology method is automatically set to interface connect. This is because the meshing algorithm automatically identified the overlapping surfaces based on the labels created when the shared topology operation was performed in ANSYS discovery. If we now look at label selection method under advanced options, it is set to automatic using connect topology. No manual label selection is required. Leave rename internals based on body names option to yes to rename the surfaces based on body names. Select apply shared topology to perform the shared topology operation and create a conformal mesh between the connected bodies. 
When using the interface connect shared topology method, it is recommended to set the ignore proximity across objects option to yes while generating the surface mesh. This forces fluent meshing to ignore any small gaps between adjacent bodies, typically applicable in cases where there are duplicate faces or edges between different bodies. Turning on this option improves the performance of the interface connect method. Let's summarize what we have learned in this lesson. In cases where shared topology cannot be performed at the CAD creation phase, it is possible to do this operation at the meshing phase when using the watertight geometry workflow using the apply shared topology task. In this lesson, we looked at the interface connect method to perform shared topology between different bodies. We learned about the functioning of the method and the requirement of labeling the overlapping or connected surfaces at the CAD creation level using ANSYS discovery to improve the robustness and speed of the interface connect shared topology operation. With that, let's wrap up this video.